Hey y'all, Michael from Velocity Power Sports. First off, congratulations on the purchase of your new Polaris Sportsman ATV. We appreciate your business here at Velocity Power Sports and hope you had a great experience. This video is to show the basic functions of your Sportsman ATV. This is a 570. The 450s are almost identical other than a couple different differences on the engine. But first, what you're gonna do is make sure the brake is engaged. Pull the shifter all the way back to make sure it's in park. Up here on the cluster, it will tell you what gear you're in. Make sure it says P for park when you go to start it. Pull the brake lever, turn the ignition just like you would an automobile. It'll fire up. Put it in the gear you want. Now you're ready to go. All right, up here on the handlebars, you have your light switch for low and high beams and off to turn the lights, the headlights completely off. A kill switch to turn the engine off to kill the power at any time, right here on the handlebars. Make sure it's on run before you try to start the engine. Right here is a speed and reverse override. So the reverse override, if you're in a weird situation where you have to back out at a high speed and reverse, you simply hold the button down and it'll increase the speed while you're holding the throttle to back up a little bit faster in case you need it in a strange situation. Over here, we have a 12 volt accessory plug to charge devices. We have a battery tender plug. Battery tender is a battery charger that's completely automatic, turns itself on and off to make sure the battery stays charged when you're not riding the machine. We carry them at all of our velocity locations in the parts department. The four wheel drive switch is on the right side of the handlebars, right above the thumb throttle. Now the Sportsman ATVs have on-demand four wheel drive. So anytime you need the four wheel drive, simply push the yellow switch over. The machine will know when the best time to lock in the four wheel drive, whether it's at a low RPM or a complete stop to ensure that nothing mechanical happens while you're engaging the four wheel drive switch. If you have any questions about your player Sportsman ATV, feel free to give us a call, speak to your salesperson or service, and we'll get whatever you need figured out. I hope you enjoyed your experience. I hope you enjoy your player Sportsman. I hope this video helps you out a lot.